welcome to the MBS show, episode number 222, triple two for short. I am your host, Norma Sanzo. Joining me today is Lurka Cat. Hey guys, guess who's going to be the very best, like no one ever was. Hmm, I wish I remembered the lyrics. Damn. So, how are you doing? Catch the head, it's my heart real t- Yeah, I'm fine, how are you? <laughs> uh, I'm good. So, I'm guessing more Pokemon Go's then from last week? Oh, yeah. More Pokemons. Pokemons tonight. We've invited a herd. Herd is good. A herd? Good take over it. Yes. Not a group. No, a herd. We will literally move like cattle. Probably <laughs> moving and bang as we're trying to find these Pokemon. Feeding people. Or we could be like a bunch of women. So I don't know. I'm going to have to see how this plans out. I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, all right. <laughs> uh, and also joining us is Matt Munchkin. Yeah, she's brought me into this Pokemon Go thing. Oh and yeah, I like, twisted uh, her arm. I totally yeah. twisted her arm. It was funny, last time you were around at my house, you were like, oh, I totally just found a Spearow in your bedroom. <laughs> so like, really? It's not my fault your cat lets him burn. Honestly. It just happened to be Spearows. Yeah, true story. I am not making this up. There was a Spearow in sure. my bedroom. Oh. <laughs> Wow. And Steph was just geeking out right there. I was like, okay. No, because we were going out and hang out and I wasn't quite ready. So I said, oh, just come up. So, yeah. And then you had Spearows in your bedroom. I'm going to take advantage yeah. of that. Oh, well. You weren't looking at them. You didn't catch them. So I thought I would... I have the app then. Yeah, because someone wasn't going to play it. Oh, no, I'm not interested. I'm so cool for this. Okay, that's fine. Text, Next day. Texted you. Texted you. Yeah, I've got Pokemon Go. <laughs> I know, that was hilarious. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was like, I After me it. going on the whole day, oh, I'm not going to get it. I'm like, and I don't force you either. I just like, yeah, it's okay, hun. I won't force you to play with me because I know other nerds that I could get. And then you're just like, I've got it, Steph. Uh, I saw that whole tirade on the Facebook post, so yeah. <laughs> uh, but still, enjoying it? I will be happy once I have a Haunter. <laughs> I see. Because uh, Haunter is best Pokemon. There was a hunter near my work as well the other day, but I don't know. Apparently you can catch them at night, so we're walking around tonight, so we should surely find one. Yeah. Or we get yeah. enough gaslights to make a hunter. We won't go home until we find one. <laughs> That's fine, I've got the external battery, we can last forever! <laughs> oh, until the battery dies. <laughs> or we can randomly go to Louis' house and be like, Louis, can we use your main suck? <laughs> uh, could you could you plug in a car generator, a car battery on your back and just walk around with that? Like while we charge, yeah. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> the future is now, thanks to science. <laughs> oh. oh, science! <laughs> oh wow. Anyway, yeah. But anyway, so um, be safe when you're going out at night and like. Steph says, be in a herd or a group. I think a group is much better. Like a herd is just no. It's a herd, Norman. Have you seen how we move? Yeah, no, no, I'm not going to call me on that. You say herd, I just automatically think, oh, we're just going to go about the town and just go bed and move. <laughs> I don't think we should encourage them to do that. If one person does it, I bet you the rest of them will do it. You think do I, I know when you press them to Team no. Rocket? Oh, God. If I start off one and then everyone likes the look, so then everyone starts to wear it and then I can become Giovanni. <laughs> That's the only reason why anyone watches the anime is for Team Rocket. Really? Exactly. They're the best. They're the best so team. So Forget Team Mystic, Mystic or Valor. You've got Team Rocket. Remember that, kids. Team Rocket is the best team. No. Norman's like I'm not in charge anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no comment. You wanted chaos. Oh. Yeah, true. We've got to fill in the slot for Discord. Discord can't come on this show, so we've got to do it instead. He's too busy, like, burning down the Hasbro headquarters. <laughs> you don't want me in your movie? Fine. And quite rightly so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, well, uh, talking about Discord not being in a movie, apparently... Nice segue. Yep, yeah, thank you. <laughs> and apparently yeah, exactly. uh, someone asked John Delancey if he's going to be in, and, well... His reply is no, they don't want me in their movies. How's them apple? This cat. Mm. There's not a piece this cat at all. <clears throat> yes. I need Discord. Uh well it seems that he might or might not be in the movie, we got no idea yet. Uh things seems to be recording and well I don't know, there's a lot of NDAs around, so obviously he may or may not talk about it or can or cannot talk about it. Depending, like, you know, NDAs, non-disclosure agreement. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, I don't know. Like Tara Strong promoting it, obviously she's going to be in the movie. If there's a Twilight, obviously she's going to be there. Oh gosh, that would be the biggest upset ever. No Twilight princess. Oh, there would be riots in the street. <laughs> I want to see these riots <laughs> though. Movie. Oh, I want to see this. Day. I want to see this chaos though, Amy. Oh well. Well, still, um, it's still too soon to mention. And well, not having Discord in the movie does suck. But we'll just have to wait and see what they do with it. And it seems that Terra Strong is recording. So that's good. Uh, the movie's in progress. Yes? Yes, yes. Or season seven. But, I mean, could she not do two birds, one stone and do the two anyway? Uh, just like lock her in a booth and make her do it. Recording schedule in... <laughs> when she's finished. Uh, no, she needs to take care of her voice, you know. Lock her in there, man. Just keep feeding her like carrot juice or something. I don't know. Something. I think they'll soothe their voice and just keep going. Put her on energy drinks. She could be yeah, really hyper. But she excited. has a family to go back to. By like Sparkle. <laughs> can she not just like get like several months out of her life and then they can take care of the children <laughs> and then boom, once she. I don't think Consuela is a good character to take care of her family. No. It's like, no, no, it's okay. I take care of your children now. And then everyone starts speaking. It's like, how are you kids? No, no, mom, it's okay. I go now. She would like that. No. Any kid that says they just go and be now, that would be brilliant. Don't know what Consuela's done to them, but it would be amazing. (laughs) No. Not arguing with me, so you must agree. Yeah, baby. Oh, no. (laughs) But anyway, it seems that she's been on the Twitters taking pictures and the picture she took is with a twilight standee and the art for the standee does look a bit different from yeah the ears different yeah so is this something to do with season seven or just the movie from what i read it's um, mainly because the movie's not being animated in flash it's being animated in something else i can't remember the name of it so mm-hmm. the animation is yes that's that's going to be it, and I don't think there's going to be much design change. I think it's more to do with the animation itself. Like, the characters are going to... Because they'll have more of a budget, because it's a movie. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, the it's going to look a lot better than the, the other movies that have been released. So, because all the others were, like, um, Equestria Girls. They weren't um, MLP movies, so... I have no problem with the slight change in the shading or the ear design. I don't think there's that much change. It's just there's more shading and it's very noticeable. I'm quite happy with how it looks so far. I mean, I'm trying to avoid as many spoilers as possible, but with the wonders of Facebook and Twitter, that's really difficult to do, especially when most of your friends on Facebook and Twitter are bronies. So the minute they find out something new, they will share it. And once you've seen it, it's embedded in your brain. You're like, oh, wonderful. Yeah. Okay, great. And being on this show um, doesn't help. (laughs) Yeah, we we like, we talk about the movie quite a lot. But that, that, that's, that's okay. It's fine. You let us live for now. Which yeah, is nice. yes. we, we try not to spoil want, the movie. Yeah. Like we we try to keep it clean and whatnot. But yes. eh, there's topics to talk about. There's topic to talk about, and I don't know if this considers a spoiler. But it seems that we have another star on the payroll for this movie, and it's a pop musician called Sai or Sia S I A Sia. Was it? That's how you say. It? I have no idea who this. Person is, and I feel so out of touch. I've never heard of it. I mean, I'm a metal chick, and this, this is like pop, or I don't know, it's just the kind of genre I have no idea, so I have no idea who this person is, but apparently it's a big deal. And I'm like, okay, person, great. Then I live in yeah, my own cave, and I must. Yeah, I, I think <laughs> that we're kind of out of it in terms of music. Um, it seems that she's worked with David Guetta and Florida. Nope. No idea. Yep, yep, <laughs> no, no. I'm either really out of touch or just really old. Maybe a mix of the two. Probably know. both. But yeah, this sick called artist is in the movies and apparently she's going to play a character in the movie and from what they said at the San Diego Comic Con panel, she's going to play a role called Songbird Serenade. And apparently this Songbird Serenade. She's going to play Queen of the Hippos. Yes. 
Ah, oh, yes. Interesting. Those uh, hungry, hungry hippos. <laughs> They're, yeah, going to bring that back. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, Okay. I want to see a lot of <laughs> sass for these hippos. That's all I want to see. I just want to see some sass. But still, if you think about it, we got a new character or a new race in MLP because if I'm not mistaken, we haven't had a hippo race in the comics. So this is kind of interesting. Yeah. Have there been <laughs> hippos in the earlier gens? Um, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of G1. Oh, I haven't watched much. If they hmm. have, probably, uh, I didn't remember. Anyone G fans in the comments, tell us below in the comments, please. Yeah. We need to know, and we're a bit too lazy to look at Google right now. Yeah. So do yes. for us. Infor- inform us. Do do all the the fruit work for us because we can't be bothered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just because <laughs> we're too busy hunting Pokemon at this time. <laughs> so you know you need to do us a solid and tell us yourselves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But anyway, um. Singer songwriter Sia, she'll be writing two songs for the movie, so that's cool. Yay! Nice. And apparently, uh, Rita His, uh, His, uh, how do you say S H S I A O? His, uh, no idea. No idea. But anyway, <laughs> um, she, w- I have no idea where you're reading this from, Norris. No, I this is, help you. this is a link that I clicked, but, um, this person is also going to be helping Megan McCartney writing the script for the movie, and uh, she did Toy Story two and Mulan. <gasps> she ah, Mulan. that's that's. Uh, She's cool then. Yes, yeah. I'm trying yes. my hard we not approve. to break into song here. <laughs> yeah, it's let's a, get down to business. Don't want to summon the copyright infringement monster. No. So, <laughs> so we're gonna have high hopes over this one, like. Uh, Rita here wrote for her <laughs> a Toy Story 2 and Mulan so that's good how's Toy Story 2 by the way did we enjoy that one or was that just meh I liked Toy Story 2 mm, alrighty especially then. the song when she loved me oh, alright so uh, so it's all good then alrighty then yeah yes I, we approve we approve a lot or this cat does anyway <laughs> yes I do Yay! Just, but it you makes me cry every, every time I watch it, and I'm like, no, movie. That's why it's mean, good. Why are you That's making me cry? This is supposed to be the stork one that doesn't show emotions, and then, oh, then you come no, along and fill me with your bed. She loved me. Oh, there's the copyright infringement. <laughs> monster, so. Oh no! Yeah. Damn it! We've also got the other one. <laughs> Have you heard the theory about uh, who's uh, his guy? What's the boy's name? Jimmy, Timmy, Andy. Andy's mum is the owner of Jesse. Of oh, Jesse, yeah, I saw that fan fiction. I'm like, oh, that's why he's got the hat. It all makes sense. And that's why she's mm-hmm. got the Woody doll. So she's passed on because it's an old, old toy. And it's like, oh, all of the feels, all of the ah. And then I'm that's over here like, yeah, they're just reusing uh, like that's assets. That. Yeah. That's all it is. And I just take all no! the magic. No, no, Amy, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Stop deconstructing my fan theories that I like. Uh, I I don't think it's a well one of the fan theories. Like I think it's a one of the popular ones that people agree. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I a, like it. It does it's make sense. I just think stuff. it's funny when I'm like, well, actually, no, they're just reusing <laughs> assets, and they're like, shut up, please, <laughs> don't kill the magic. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yes. But still, but still. Um, <laughs> that's the news for this week. But on a side tangent, um, who here likes Batman? Oh, that's a funky <laughs> question you happen to ask. Um, well, a certain <laughs> someone that we know likes Batman is in the call. <laughs> yeah. And um, does this person also like uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Mm, not really. Not really, eh? What do you mean, no. not really? Uh, well, I do to a point, but not to yeah, the point where most people do. Yeah, right. But you still but like You know what I mean? Like, I appreciate it for what it is, but I wouldn't say... I wouldn't run, run off and make loads of fan art <laughs> for it or anything. Yeah, you know, that, that kind of... Like heroes in a half shell, turtle power. <laughs> I do like how they're all named after Renaissance artists, yeah. and other than that, I'm like, yeah, it's an alright show. <laughs> yeah, that that's a bit cool. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> Medi Medi, what about this Batman crossover with 
the turtles? Um, it depends which reiteration of both franchises are brought together. Like, cause you can bring like the original series of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with, say, um, Brave and Bold, you know, or, um, there's the slightly more, the, the recent reiteration of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with the animated series, which is more film noir kinda, almost. Mm-hmm. To a point, so I'm just trying to see, think what would match better, but there's that many different versions of each franchise, especially with the uh, TMNT, mm. and I am not familiar with them at all, mm. so, um, yeah, I understand that. It's really, really annoying, but well, yeah. It's cool, it's cool, but here's the thing. Um, yeah. I think a comics coming out in November starring the Turtles and Batman and I think this is the Batman from the animated cartoon series. Ah, from the 90s. Okay. Yes. And That'll be they're crossing over with the Turtles from the new Turtle movie on Nickelodeon. Ah. Yep. And also- I am intrigued. Yep. And if you click on the links that it's down there, we'll have the Green Lantern and Star Trek. Yes. That's why you mentioned the Green Lantern earlier. I was wondering <laughs> yes. why. Yes, like, yes, yes. Well, what yes. does the like... Green Lantern have to do with Star Trek, man? I'm like, what? That's why I kind of I'm really confused. You don't but... confuse the Maddie because then she slips into her Mary Sue voice because <laughs> it's funnier. I'm so confused. Sad girly but... moment and then on the screen. <laughs> but Maddie, 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 it's like, Hmm. This is not the first time that Star Trek crossover with comic characters. Like, remember that no, I... one with the X Men? No, oh. I've never read that. Oh God, no. you need to catch that one. If you're a Star yeah. Trek fan, you should just see uh, Spock do the Vulcan neck pinch on Wolverine. Oh, I need to see like, this. There is no if. There is no if. There is. There's only is. Norman, <laughs> I never said the if. That this existed. I have not lived. <laughs> You should catch it. Clearly. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not a fan of it either. So I'm just like, la, 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 la. Let's play the crazy over here. La, 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 la. You're like, so, Pokemon, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Gotta catch it. <laughs> Embarrassing <laughs> nephews everywhere. Embarrassing them everywhere. Uh, I haven't embarrassed my nephew yet. <laughs> You're not trying hard enough, Norman. They're too young to be embarrassed. Aww. Oh, people come. <laughs> Uh, Ryan is six and already he it. knows what embarrassment is. Yeah. Apparently it's embarrassing the Team Rocket motto or singing the theme song. <laughs> uh, but still, this seems to be a really short episode because not much news, mostly with movies and we segue pretty well and I kind of talk about Batman and Turtles. So yeah. Because it has to happen. Now because you've happen. mentioned Batman. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised Damn. you're not. I'm surprised you're not bringing up the Killing Joke. Ah, yeah. that one. Is it out yet? That's being released in theaters. Really? It's coming in the out UK, it Monday. is. Oh wow! And guess who's going to see it on Monday? Oh, myself and Lurker. Nice. Yay! Yay! I'm gonna see it. So I'll get to see what it is for years you've been talking about. Yeah, your favorite comic, Lurker The Killing Joke. I've never read this graphic novel. Oh, I- um, but every time we see each other and we go into Waterstones, the bookshop, yep. you mention it every time that that's your favourite comic. I pick like, up the graphic novel, yes. I show it to Steph, I stroke it. You tell it, me like, how much you love it. Like I'm holding a kitten <laughs> and I'm like, you have to read this because it's so amazing. It's the only graphic novel that has made me cry. The only oh other gosh, time that something illustrated has made me cry was a manga and that was the Elf and Leeds manga. So, eh. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. wait, um, that movie's coming out no, in... No, it's, it's Basket One, sorry. To interrupt, Norman. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> but no, um, The Killing Joke is coming out in theaters for you? It's getting a limited release Ooh. here, yeah. Oh, that's but cool. Some people are able to watch it from digital download already. Yeah, but which still, is really still fun. come on. Like, nah, Big screen. Theaters, yes, and other people watching it and geeking out with you, you're like, come and on. And we can touch their faces! <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> We're like, people! Oh yeah. Hello, nerds! <laughs> Other people are real! Other people like to see stuff as us! the contours of their face <laughs> to know that they are real and it's not just a holographic projection <laughs> of my mind. We'll turn um. it all like a doll on them. Like. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Maddie, well, um, well. Sorry. Uh, Maddie, I, I need to ask. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, 
in in the killing joke, uh, does mm. um, Bad Girl and Batman kind of hook up or something? No, 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 way. no, 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 mm. no, no, no. I don't know. I don't know where that came from, but no, there's nothing like that. Um, you might be. I'm trying not to ruin stuff for Steph, but I don't. Mind um, though. It's like, you know, I'm spoilerella. No, because of all, all of the, the news coming up, there's some really graphic content in regards to what happens to Batgirl in The Killing Joke. Mm-hmm. And some people are up in arms about it. And I'm like, you do know that this graphic novel was released in 1989, right? Yeah. And even earlier than that, actually. It came out. Yay! So, hmm. I think it was actually earlier than that. Um Aww. Slightly earlier, because... I just want to claim that my year of coming out is awesome, because, like, all this cool stuff happened. <laughs> other than Taylor Swift being born the same year. She ruined it. <laughs> there's a lot... I'm trying to say stuff without spoiling it, but, um... Uh, there's just like, some stuff that Conceal, don't it, feel, like, don't let it show. Like, pe- pe- <laughs> yeah. Conceal, don't feel, don't let them know. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Everyone, wrong, everyone will know. Yeah. Make one wrong move, I'll... Just tell the whole thing. But no, uh, to answer your question, no, Batman and Batgirl did not hook up, mainly because um, <laughs> in this reiteration, Batgirl is, and Batman, there, there's a, a bit, a lot of an age gap, and obviously. You know, obviously. And also, obviously, she's the daughter of uh, uh, James Gordon, the yeah. commissioner, so it just wouldn't be right. Yeah. So blah, blah, blah. Even- no, th- th- there's more of like a, <coughs> I would say either, uh, like he sees Barbara as a younger sister, kind of thing. Well, if you really so, think about yeah. it, um, Barbara's what in her college years, so that means yeah. she's above nineteen. And Bruce Wayne's like um, he's been doing this for a while, so probably he's early late thirties. So no, yeah. that's just uh, you. <laughs> just all of the no, Batman. Yeah. No, uh, no just you. Like most DC movies with Batman anyway, the animated ones, there was some news going about saying, oh, The Killing Joke has like a rating of 15 and what a big deal it was. And I'm like, but most of the other animated Batman movies are rated 15 as well. And why is this such a big deal? Yeah. I'm like, I'm confused. I, I don't know <laughs> where you're reading this because I yeah. don't see the, what you call this controversy and whatnot because the Killing Joke has been out for a while now and it's considered yeah. to be one of the best Batman movies, sorry, Batman comics besides The Dark Knight Returns, was it? Um, The Dark Knight. Which one was with the old Batman, with the female Robin? What was that one? Yeah, The Dark Knight Returns. Yeah, The Dark Knight Returns. So yeah. besides that, the, that's one of the most popular ones out there. So yeah, uh, but Batman aside, still, I hope you guys enjoyed the movie because I can't wait to watch it myself because I know stuff and, oh god, let's just... I'll mostly be watching Amy fangirling and squeeing in her seat. <laughs> yeah, pretty uh, much. I'll watch it, but I'll see her going, ah, 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 trying to contain it, and it'll just like, oh, look at her. <laughs> <laughs> it was like us when we were watching Frozen together for like... For the second time for yeah, you. Yeah, that was really annoying. The you were first like, you were like, ah, ah. you hadn't seen it, and every time that I just could feel the energy from you going, oh, this bit's really good. Oh, this bit's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you didn't actually say it, you just kept going, oh, oh, and then looking at me and saying, like, if you don't enjoy this bit the same as me, you're gonna die. We are no longer friends. So I'm like, oh. Okay. No, but you reacted the same when we came the second time because we went to see it with Alan and it was his first time seeing it. It was my third yep. time seeing it. It was your second time seeing it and you reacted the same. That's not a word. Wait, it's me. <laughs> oh, that's not a word. That's not a word. It is a word. Oh my <laughs> god, did you just blame me? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but... I think I'll get <laughs> Yeah, I think there's a bleep there. But anyway, um, I do hope you enjoy the movie and yeah, um, make sh- be sure to bring a box of tissues because it's gonna get sad. I'll bring a raincoat. Remember to bring an umbrella, Amy. <laughs> umbrella? Yeah, that works better. Ella, 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 <laughs> A, A, uh, A. So anyway, I think we reached our end with this chaos of an episode. <laughs> uh, having you two here is fun. We're all the family. Indeed. Minus thieves. Yeah, minus Discord. We we should put a Discord statue around just just to remind us of how chaotic the show can be. Yes. 
I would appreciate this. I would cheek rub that all over that. <laughs> yes. Well, anyway, um, if you guys at home have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show, and my account is at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy. And Lurk, where can I find you? Um, you can find me at lurkercat.deviantart.com or you can find me at facebook.com forward slash highlandbronies. Nice. And Maddie, what about you? Oh my god, there's so many places you can find me. Oh my god. Everywhere. And you should avoid them all. No. Uh, <laughs> That's not a very uh, good business. The, the, avoid the them main... all. Shut up. <laughs> Let me talk. <laughs> Shameless plugs here. Um, most of you guys will be able to find my stuff on the, the YouTube channel. It's uh, Mad Munchkin Blethers on YouTube. And I'm also on DeviantArt. I have an Etsy and eBay shop as well. Uh, links to those. I guess we can add them in the description below because, well, I can't remember the links off my heart. And they're really long and awkward to say out loud. So, yeah. <laughs> Would that be okay? Yeah, I'll put them yes. in the show notes and stuff. Like per you slap him in there, Norman. You slap him on your description. Indeed. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on com. And the MBS show, reviews, and discussion show is on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Do subscribe to that one because that show needs the love. Catch Silver Quill, Sapphire, and Guest of the Week as we review the MLP episodes and comics and also discuss about certain things that, well, we want to talk about. Like how Twilight is a princess and how does this affect the show and the characters around her. Or even we can go talk about stuff like the game that Silver Quill's playing. We had that episode, really. It was a really strange one, but it was a fun one. Anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I have been Lurker Cat. I am always mad. Munchkin. And we'll, <laughs> and we'll catch That was good, wasn't it? Oh, that was good, I like that. Yes, yes. <laughs> you should use that more often. I might adopt that. That's a good one. Yes. Uh, and we'll catch you guys next week. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.